Gioga with the penalty, facing Interlandi, who's doing his best on the line. Here's the shot. Interlandi makes the save. Would you believe it? An unthinkable finish to this match. And Mason Interlandi. At the top of the area, Sturt with a powerful header. Flicked oh. on and a great save. Top of the penalty area, left foot shot and a great save. Now high to the back post. Across the face, Matthews, great save by Honos. Bentley paid for the back heel, top right corner of the area, and a great save from McLaren. Skip the ball, okay. Goes for long shot, okay, Saldaris. Tips it away. Cahill loads up a long shot, and this one is tipped away by Cassett. Through the keeper, underneath Pavlidis, but he got just enough. Of Alex, congratulations on being recognised as the PS4 NPL1 goalkeeper of the season. What do you put it down to, the success that you've had between the sticks this year? Oh, it's definitely a lot of hard work, Tia. Um, you know, goalkeeper, being a goalkeeper is not the easiest thing. Um, in the world, but um, you know the success comes a lot to, to my defensive back four and obviously DM as well. Um, you know we're we're a young defensive line, and and I think that you know working as a team and working together has, has really set us apart and, and got us that you know 23 goals against in the season, which was you know a really good sign from from especially last year where we were copping goals. Four or five at the start of the at the start of the year. Uh, it was a big change for us to, to be one of the best defensive sides. Chris, congratulations on winning the PS4 NPL goalkeeper of the season. You were up against a pretty strong field this year. So how satisfying is it that you've come out on top? Oh, listen, it's been a tough season for Hume. Um, a lot of injuries missing, so we're about to have the senior players step up. But to win it amongst some great goalkeepers is, I feel, as an honour. Um, I think the standard of goalkeeping in this league is very good. So to, to win it, it's, it's a good honour. With that said, your team fell out of the promotion race in the last month or so of the year. What lessons do you think uh, the squad will have learned in preparation for next season? Ah, oh, putting the ball in the back of the net, Taya. Um, in all honesty, you know, uh, again, uh, I've said to you that we've conceded the least amount of goals. And, and if you look at some of our highlights and, and some of the uh, recorded games for FFV TV, um, it, a lot of it came down to not putting our chances away and then going up the other end and, and copping a goal that um, whether it be a defensive mistake, whether it be a good finish, whether it be you know something that we didn't really deserve but it ended up in the back of the net, um, that's something we'll learn for next year and, and take on board and hopefully rectify. Does one game stand out as, as your favourite or, or your best for the year? And is it one with a clean sheet or is it the team wins and you don't really mind if you concede goals or is there one particular game where you kept well and maybe the team didn't get the result that you remember more fondly? The one um, that stands up the most is against Bentley away. We were 1-0 one nil, one nil down and we scored last minute but before we scored I made at least 8-9 to nine saves to keep us in it at 1-0 and then last minute we scored to draw 1-1. One, one. That was to me the most standout game of the season. What do you put your own personal good form down to? Has it been a training regime? Has it just been a general progression of your development as a player? What would you say is the reason you've had such a good season? Listen, as goalkeepers, I'm quite young, I'm only 23, so I'm still maturing as a keeper. But mid-season, I had to change goalkeeper coaches. So I think the new goalkeeper coach, John, has had a big influence on my game, on my confidence, and I've stood up as a player, and I've really shone in that aspect of my game. And is there anyone you would like to thank for winning this award? I'd like to thank the whole of Hume, really. Hume has stood beside me throughout, throughout everything. When I've been at my lowest, they've mentored me. Louis, my me me coach, has mentored me a lot. He's pulled me aside and spoke to me. Being an ex-goalkeeper, he understands every feeling I've had. So I'd have to thank Louis. And is there anyone you'd like to thank for winning this award? Oh, I'd just like to thank uh, 
the club. The club's had a big factor in me uh, me becoming where I am. I, I started off as, a, as the resi keeper there and worked my way up to the top. And um, yeah, you know, I've only been a goalkeeper for, for a handful of years and uh, this recognition at NPL level, uh, hopefully uh, I can go beyond and, and work my way up the ranks. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you.